for now. So we try, try and get his zeal up a little bit to try and increase his chance of uh, spreading our culture in enemy provinces. Okay, so uh, a little bit um, of faffing about there in the first turn of the session. I make no apologies. Gold freely given and gratefully accepted is a blessing from the gods to all involved. So say the bones. Okay, let me just get my bearings here. So as we can see, we are friendly with the Helveti, the Reiti are quite neutral with us, the Nori are quite friendly with us. The Helveti are friends with the Reiti, the Nori, they're friends with us, mm -hmm. yeah, so they think. So if we do wage war with the Helveti, do they have any allies? They have military allies, so the Reiti and the Nori are military allies with them. Wow, I didn't realise that. So if we wage war with the Helveti, we're no doubt going to face trouble from, from these guys as well, so we have to be prepared for that. It's not just a case of simply taking over their land and, and, and laughing off into the sunset, is it? A little bit of political and diplomatic manoeuvring possibly required? Well, we're not going to like, entertain this non-aggression pact idea. Certainly not. Libya? There is much to be said for generosity between friends. It no. Hmm... <laughs> okay, so war declared. Libya on somebody else. Population surplus in Magna Gratia. We have constructions complete. Cisalpina, the happy populace. The third legion is getting recruited down there. Okay, dokey. Ready for orders. Right, well, our ships are ready. We can't merge them because there's two admirals here. So we'll just have him sort of sit the there. Right, 14,000. Look at this, this is what I mean. Even at this early stage, money is just flowing like wine. Which means we shouldn't have any problem doing what we need to do. Right, first of all, uh, I'm going to take a look at the factions here. Is this the right screen? So the the, the, the the Reiti have two lands by the looks of it, so they are not going to be overly uh, easy to dispatch of. The, the Nori here have just the one, and obviously the Helveti have two, so potentially a little bit of a stumbling block here, possibly. Okay. Hmm. And they were defensive allies, were they not? They're military allies, so they will most likely team up with the faction you're dealing with if they get declared war on, or if they decide to declare war on someone. If this faction has many powerful allies, you may wish to tread carefully in diplomatic matters. So I wonder if we can persuade the Reiti we to break to to your office, their military alliance with the Helveti. Can I not offer some cash for this? Low success. So with this excess cash, perhaps we can sort of uh, sweeten the deal a touch. Convince them to turn a blind eye. Let's have a look. We're going to offer, first of all, oh, 1,400. That's quite a lot. I wasn't going to offer more than that, that's for sure. But we'll just, I'll just see what kind of... What kind of kind of ballpark figure we're looking at here. 3,800. Hmm. Just a bit of political wrangling here. You'll have to excuse me. So if we offer a non-aggression pact with them, uh, if they break their military alliance with the Helveti, uh, what else can we offer them? Uh, we can offer them military access? No. Although... Will that sweeten anything? No. Okay. 
Uh, break non-aggression pact. Break defensive alliance. Declare war. Join war. Okay, so this is this is as, this is as good as it gets. It says it's a low chance, but it doesn't say it's impossible. So I'm going to offer it. To accept these terms would risk. Okay, what about the Nori then? Break military alliance with the Helveti. I will pay you. 1400 denarii and I will swear on almighty God not to attack you in the future <laughs> with fingers crossed behind back no not gonna happen is it okay how about we switch the tables how about we go to the Helveti and, and convince them that together hand in hand we can strike out at the Reiti and we can strike out at the Nori together, eh? How about that? See if we can convince them to actually end Welcome, the alliance. Welcome, worthy friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. Break a military alliance with those two, and together we shall rule the world. <laughs> and we we'll happily pay 2,800 for that. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're not entertaining it, are they? They are not going to entertain the idea. So there's no political wrangling that even the mighty Scipio, Mr. Cunning, can do here to try and uh, to try and wrangle this one. The top and bottom of it is: we go to war with the Helvetti, we go to war with the other two as well. So be it. So be it. He's, defend he's, he's fortifying himself. They've brought themselves some reinforcements here. The warmongers are up there, occupying that, but no doubt they'll come running down when we besiege Medlar. It's going to take us a turn to get some uh, siege equipment ready. Okay, well, while I'm mulling over things, See if we can convince her to come across to our side. She's been hindered again, but she's not joining our cause. Postuma Scapula, I am not happy with you. Twice you failed me now. Twice you have failed me. Right, okay. Um, once again, building work. Nothing we can really do. Down here, nothing we can really do. Happy with things as they are, which means up here we can now put in our uh, own farming. So we look, that's lovely, that's good. Still using the blacksmith there. Right, this army is ready to go. Commander. The Dagger of Rome is ready. Pretty much. Now, we do have some spare cash. Ready for battle. So even the Senate can't deny Papyrus Curse of the chance to upgrade his weapons now. So we'll do it. We have to get rid of this cash somehow. <laughs> Promoting bloody corruption in our ranks at this early stage is not a good thing, surely. People will get complacent with their cash. Right, okay, so he's ready. I'm just wondering if we should just go for it. Just, just launch the attack now. Just bloody do it. Just, let's just do it. <laughs> right, what have we got? So they've got 12. 12 there, 9 there, that's about 20. We could besiege them and just wait for them to sally forth. Or ultimately, we perhaps should start by mopping up this army here. Start the war by mopping up these. Then you never know, they may commit their troops towards us, weaken themselves. Hmm. Ready for orders. One, two, three. Two units of horses. One more unit of a start. That makes four. So that'll be seven units. Three principles, three. That'll be 13. Four and four. 13, 14. 15 and five units of Velites. Okay, that's fine. Right. Decision needs to be made here. We hunger for battle. 
Two more turns until these are replenished. Do we wage war now? By stabbing these guys in the back and and uh, showing our hand? Or do we sneak up on Medlan? Do we sneaky beaky? Patavium has only got three. Three garrison. Wow, until we've converted this, we're not going to get the full benefit. So if we move our troops away whilst he is here, it's pretty much undefended. So I think we're going to have to start by waging war here, showing our hand, and then basically welcoming the wrath of three cl uh, tribal clans. So be it. As I said, Scipio would rather go down in a ball of fire than sit here and retire gracefully. We must go battle! They're going to come with the Reiti and the Nori. We have the third legion on the on the card, so we could always take that third legion up north if support is required. Right. We are off you and running. We are off and running indeed. Trade agreement broken with the Nori, and trade agreement broken with anybody else? No? Okay, so that's the, the first negative impact there. Trade agreement broken. Okay. So, if we go to diplomacy now... We are now at war with the Reiti, the Nori, the Helveti. Oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> this could be fun. Speaking of uh, fun, let's have a look at this. Ah! Genua! The province of Cisalpina is now coming to our way of thinking. We are at plus two public order, so that's one headache we're taken care of. Yes, there's still some cultural difference, but culture is going up at 6% per turn, which is absolutely marvellous. And of course, provincial instability will keep decreasing, or rather would keep increasing as time goes on and we get more stable. So I'm happy with the public order situation here. That's fine. So, 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 so. You know what? Ready for battle. Scipio is almost ready. Ready for battle. But he's not quite ready yet. Ready for orders. Do you think this could take this? I think so. We take this settlement for Rome! We need to wait for siege equipment because otherwise we're going to have to burn down the gates, which is going to take a little bit of time. But we're going to suffer a little bit of attrition whilst we're waiting for these to be built. So we're going to wait for some ladders. Two turns is too long. So uh, we're just going to wait for some ladders and uh, deal with them like that. So we will maintain the siege whilst siege to the we settlement. build our siege equipment. Hopefully we won't get attacked in the meantime. He can't reach, but he can reinforce. Meanwhile, Scipio is going to deal with these guys. Commander. And this is going to be a quick auto-resolve situation. Decisive victory. So Scipio strikes again. And he's going to release the captives. Why? At your command. Because that's the way he rolls. And then we're going to move ourselves on the borders here. Which means we're still within our lands. Is that all? So we can still replenish. We'll take one more turn of replenishment. And then he can go and reinforce this army for the fight. Hopefully before uh, anything else can go horribly wrong. So uh, there we go. Rome has showed her hand and uh, dealt with and turn-coated on the Helvetii. Is that going to make us any different to our reliability? Not really. We had no pacts, we had no treaties in place with them, so uh, that's fine. So, anything else we need to focus on here? Ah, because he's left the province. Uh oh. Because he's left the province, um, we don't get the public order bonus. Two more turns and they're going to revolt. Mm, 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 mm. What to do? What to do? Do we put Scipio back in Patavium to maintain stability in the in the province? 
I don't think it's going to make a massive difference. And the reason why I say that is because when we take when we take Medlan, we're going to suffer that minus 35 public order hit from recently conquering a province. So it's going to happen anyway. So we'll just deal with it when it does. So forget it. Forget it. Let them revolt. We'll deal with it when it happens. We'll crush them under our fist. We'll whip the big buggers in the streets and string them up by the knackers and teach them a lesson. Sometimes you've got to be harsh with these people. Right. So everything seems to be fine again. I'm just making sure no Carthage ships doing anything they shouldn't be. You know, ships from across in Greece coming across to cause havoc. Once again, we'll just continue to wait. And uh, we're suffering attrition. Whilst we build our uh, siege equipment. Right, one more turn. Just check. Nobody needs upgrading yet. Posthumous Scapula does. <clears throat> right, once again we can go for something new. We can go for uh, more cunning. Her cunning is pretty high already, but this will make it even further. Or we can actually upgrade something that she already has. So we will upgrade that to criminal level 2. Nah, rubbish. Spy level 2 gives an extra, extra cunning and extra chance of evading enemy agents. Or furtiveness. Extra cunning, extra poison chance. She is a poisoning prowler. We'll upgrade that one. Right. So he's still age 50, so he's still going at one turn. One turn is six months, so that's good. In my new campaign, it's reset itself, but it still seems to be uh, two turns per year on this on this on this game save, so that's fine. Right, <clears throat> end the turn, and then the next the next turn we should be uh, battling for Medlan. I seriously hope the other factions don't put their beaks in. <laughs> I hope they. Uh... Oh, a little bit of a slowdown in terms of end turn times and frame rates here for some reason yeah I really hope they just sort of think you know what to go against Rome is not a good idea you know what <laughs> uh, Helvetti see you on the other side <laughs> right Alliance forged here and the RDA with the Macedon the dagger of Rome have suffered a little bit of attrition but nothing to harp on about Cisalpina rebellion is imminent and uh, here they want us to raise an army in Pativium Wow, and it gives an extra plus one army recruitment slot if we do it as well. And some extra treasury, uh, extra 500 to our treasury. I'm telling you, they're not happy the fact that there's going to gonna, gonna be a revolt. Do you know what? Tough cookies, mate. I am busy. Do not argue with Scipio. He knows best. I really do with reviewing my household as well. We have... Um, Tons of, of, of tons of them, basically. Right, I'm gonna have one more try at convincing her to join our side. If, if she fails again, then you know what? We'll just have to kill her instead. So, Posthuma Scapula, try it one more time. I shall do. Nope, she's been hindered. Right, well, the next turn, she'll just have to resort to what she knows best, and that's poisoning. So she'll die. She'll die now. She sh she had her chance. We were willing to have her come across to our side, but if she's going to tell us no, then uh, to hell with it. You're just going to have to die. And uh, that's, that, that's that. So continue to recruit, agent, uh, recruit units into this legion. What the hell's happened there? I put a D on the end of it, and an S as well. Need your Patreon. There you go. Is that, is that it? <laughs> there we go. It's a bit of a bit of a faux pas there. Anyway, what were we saying? We were saying that we need some more. Brings the best. One, two, three, four. Four triarii. There we go. One, two, three, four. Is that right? That's right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then uh, four units of, of, of Velites. Right, that's fine. That'll do. 
And in came the legions 4x4. Four four. Right, so that's taking down a bit of our cash. That's the legion sorted. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Just let them recruit in good time. Quintus Bassus waiting patiently for his opportunity to arrive. 